Welcome to Bella Pro. My name is Bob. What do you think of our new music? I got the idea yesterday when I was doing the uh, advanced nutrition video and the avoiding that doctor's prognosis video. Today's show is about the potato, the humble potato, because it is terribly misunderstood and terribly abused. One of the things I notice most are fried potatoes, and we don't eat fried potatoes. We like potatoes, we love fried potatoes, and it's fine to have a fried potato once in a while, I guess, but actually it destroys any nutritional value, and we really don't want to mess with that. Uh, mashed potatoes with a gravy, of course, are a traditional favorite, and I'm not even going to touch that. Now, my main idea about potatoes came when I was speaking with a friend of mine in Texas, and Alfred and I were discussing some night cramping I was having after long rides. And he said my problem was electrolytes. And I tried to I went to some health food stores and sports uh, type stores to try to buy electrolytes and they really don't have any. But it turns out I did and I didn't even know it. And um, I had learned a little bit about potato juice in the past, but I sort of dismissed them and hadn't thought about them in a long time. So we're back to adding potatoes into all of the cocktails. Now, it's kind of become a fad to, uh, to drink and do these potato juice purges. Now, I've said many times, uh, I don't do fads. I don't, uh, this is a lifestyle. If you want to do something for a week, that's really your affair. This is something I do for years and years, and it's been proven for well before I was born. So it's not anything new, and there's no rocket science behind it. And it's not too expensive to set up. I, I, I can find you a good juicer for less than 50 bucks. And they go up, but we'll talk, of, I already did a show about juicers. You know, the reason I don't do fads and stuff, remember that movie Kellogg's, uh, I forget the name of it, but Kellogg, it was played by Anthony uh, Hopkins. And he was kind of an eccentric, uh, a little bit anal retentive. And that kind of nonsense really uh, doesn't work. You can't do something for a week and expect any kind of result. You know, you have to do it years and years, and I'm so sorry it works that way. Okay, potatoes. Potatoes. Uh, vitamin C, 100% of your daily vitamin C will be in a cup of potato juice, which is basically what I add to my cocktail. Because potatoes are generous. You get a lot of juice out of a potato. Uh, it's an incredibly economical thing to juice. Uh, you also get all your vitamin Bs. One, three, vitamin B, and vitamin six. And the way it works is you, you get uh, your, your niacin, your thiamine, and some roboflavin, which is the vitamin B2, I think, and, and then the vitamin uh, B6. But the big one is roboflavin because we don't get that in many sources. And it uh, turns out uh, a little potato juice is a great source for it. Um, also, the great news about potato juice is for us cyclists because it turns out the extra potassium and iron and all the other goodies in it helps us absorb iron, which increases our red blood cells' the capacity to absorb oxygen. It's very useful. Uh, that's why athletes dope, to be able to get more oxygen. So we can do it um, and not even get in trouble. Very excellent. It's very, very high in electrolytes, uh, potato juice. Uh, potassium, very useful. Like I said, uh, Eldred told me that uh, I needed electrolytes and uh, good advice. You, uh, you do find it occasionally, and thank you. Um, 
Another, another thing is potato juice has iron, which helps fight fatigue and also helps us to absorb oxygen into our red blood cells. Uh, calcium helps uh, blood clotting and, and bones, and we'll do a show on calcium because it's really important. Uh, zinc helps the immune system, and it's rich in zinc. Vitamin K, now this is, again, talking about fads and purges. Some people use uh, blood thinners, and if you take some certain types of medication, a lot of potato juice because of the vitamin K may be ill-advised. Uh, I don't see it as a big deal in your cocktail, but I don't know if I'd drink it exclusively if I had that issue. But that's a question for a physician. And of course, antioxidants, uh, anti-aging qualities, which I'm sorry, uh, I'm still aging. Also potatoes, the potato juice helps you absorb uh, collagen. We did a show about collagen and I'm still working on that collagen experiment and I'll report on that when I, I feel I have something worth reporting. Um, that pretty well wraps up potatoes. Uh, the electrolytes are the big one and I'll leave a couple links about potato juice because it really is something we overlook. It's super cheap and you, in, if you don't like the flavor or think it's awful, don't worry about it because when you mix it into your other juice, into your cocktail, you won't even notice it. You won't notice it. I don't drink any particular juice exclusively. Uh, in the book, uh, Dr. Walker talks about uh, particular cocktails for particular ailments, and that's super good. And uh, I'm not going to go there today because it gets into story time. But I do want everyone to own that book because, well, don't own the book. Don't get it because otherwise you won't need me. <laughs> the show is kind of framed around that book, so we're going to use it. And again, I'm going to caution you against fried potatoes. I don't see any great evil in potatoes because they're very healthy but not fried. We're gonna get back to some nature songs. Better, huh? I think so. I need a little exit music. Thanks for watching. I'll leave a link. Please observe. Don't forget to subscribe. I don't count them anymore, but I will watch once in a while. Thanks for watching.